Hey, how's it going, guys? It's me, Eagle, from the Eagle Stream, and welcome to the transfer special of uh, FM21 Southampton or the Saints go marching on. Now, I haven't gone over anything, and uh, obviously the uh, end of season awards and stuff like that has still yet to happen, so this one might be a long one. That being said, hope you enjoy. And let's get into it, shall we? I'm about to lose my shit. Alright, so. When I press continue, we should get into the end of season awards. They should be coming in soon. I didn't record this uh, back to back because of uh, stuff. <laughs> So uh, I'm not as hyped up as I was, uh, well, yesterday. I recorded last episode yesterday. Uh, the the uh, episode is actually coming out in seven hours. The uh, one I recorded yesterday. Collect the bonus payout, crown champions, mate, uh, yeah. He prefers Edward over Lewandowski. Fair enough. When's it gonna pop up? Lemina joins Fulham, which I didn't want to happen really. If it doesn't happen now, I'm gonna go quickly over the. Oh, there it is. Achievement unlocked. The boss. Southampton end of season review 2020 to 2021. The new arrivals. Ritnanen played one game, got an 8.7. Cup game. <laughs> Uh, Livakovic, I'm assuming that they're, yeah, signing of the season. Signing of the season, and they were, let's see, the board are very disappointed with a deal to sign Dominic Livakovic. This is mainly down to giving the player a wage that is too high for his place in the squad. Even though he was the best player, or yeah, signing of the season, 8 million. I called it as soon as I signed him. Signed him. <laughs> Odson Edward, uh are disappointed with a deal to sign outside the ward and too high of a wage 30 games 50 goal or sorry 15 goals and five assists that's not too bad marco slivkovic played two games they were really disappointed to that or by that even though he only cost us 53k tinietvai they were really disappointed with that and honestly, he's played eight games and 13, uh, 13 sub appearances. So a 6.73 isn't too bad, but it's not what I was looking for. Uh, he's signed without a valid work permit. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'm disappointed. Yep. They're just uh, disappointed overall. I'm, I'm actually disappointed about Raul Godinho myself, as you'll see in a uh, few minutes probably that I've accepted an offer for him. He, like, he didn't play a single game for us. Ulster, uh, Korovar, both of them uh, didn't have a work permit. Let's see. Uh, the board are extremely disappointed with this. <laughs> Why? However, the transfer fee represents great value for money, even if the player's wage is on the high side. This is mainly due to the potential extra fees of 5 million that could end up... I don't know. How is that an F? <laughs> F in the chat, lads. F in the chat. Let's see. A season to remember. This I, I really enjoyed this, actually. I haven't seen this yet. Uh, the Saints were one of the competition's surprise packages. Consistently defying expectations. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Consistently defying expectations owing lar largely to an impressive spell of form between September and November that saw them rise to second. We're uh, able to or celebrate a successful campaign. If we look at this uh, board expectation, mid table, final position, third, as you can see, Champions League football. Uh, average home attendance, 31, almost 32,000, competition top scorer, Che Adams, fair enough. If you look at this, like, you see the uh, Liverpool odds over here, 7-1, and then you look at the end of the season, 2-1, we win. You know, I'll take it. We end up third, even though we lost 7-1 to them. 
Moments to remember. Uh, there were times fans didn't think it was possible, but some great goals and impressive results made them believe. Biggest win, 5-1 against Newcastle. What a game that was. Uh, Carabao Cup was the match to remember when we came back from 3-0, I believe. Yep, came back from 3-0 and uh, won it 4-3. And then, goal of the season, I can't see it really. Goal of the season was Musa Jenepo. I think I remember this. It was an insane one. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, your success definitely uh, helped the club's finances. Club's reputation has not changed over the past season. Uh, sponsorship deals. One new deal, 250k a year. And most notable deal, two year deal worth 500k. Sponsorship 16 million, broadcast revenue 74 million, uh, corporate and hospitality 2.7, competition price money 34, almost 35, match day commercial and retail is 1.39. If we look at the uh, total merchandise sales, there are 1.85 million. That's insane. Uh, let's see. Ings was the top seller, understandable. Edward next, and then Ward Prowse, Redmond, and Che Adams. Yeah, it all makes sense. Redmond might leave next season, though, because he's very injury-prone. Let's see how I lined up. Uh, is this the team of the season? Best 11, yeah. So, Livakovic in goal, Kyle Walker-Peters, and Ryan Bertrand. Makes sense. Salasu and Benarek also makes sense. They have the same... Oh, wow, they actually have the same uh, ranking. Or rating, sorry. Damn. All right. Uh, Will Smallbone makes sense. He's been really good. Uh, James Ward Prowse again, very good. Redmond six point nine five. Yeah. Jenna Poe seven point oh two. Che Adams and Danny Ings. That's pretty good. Accolade. <coughs> sorry, Jesus. Accolades. Your work. Your hard work. Sorry. And effort paid off and on the pitch, and such a great feat didn't go unrewarded at the end of, your, end of the season award ceremony. Let's see. Uh, English Premier Division Manager of the Month for April. Very nice. And oh my word. 2020-2021 English Premier Division Manager of the Year. Oh baby. I love that. First season I do on FM, my first actual season, legitimately, and I get manager of the year. Damn, I'm good at this game, hell yeah. Let's see, fans player of the season, Dominic Levakovic, makes sense, he was amazing. Uh, young player of the season, Mohamed Salasu, again, actually, uh, it's a bit 50-50 between him and uh, Will Smallbone. Let's see. Uh, signing of the season, Dominic Levakovic. Yep. Goal of the season was the Genepo. Top goal scorer, Che Adams in the league with 21. Top assists, Musa Genepo with 11. Most player of the match awards was James Will Prowse with 6. Highest average rating was Dominic Levakovic for 7.3. See, competition awards, nothing. <clears throat> yeah, Dominic Levakovic has been uh, definitely a signing of the season for me. Now, most overall goals, 26. Most assists, 12. Most clean sheets, 9. Uh, most player of the matches, 6. Work pros again. Uh, worst discipline, Benarek with 8 yellow cards. And highest transfer fee paid, Austin Edward for £25 million. Finish, and there we go. Now we get into next season. Let's see. Season review, yep. Yeah. Did all this. Fancy graph if you want to check it out. Uh, let's see. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I think I'm doing that correctly. Selling players to sell for a profit. I think I'm doing that correctly as well. Uh, minimum three year contract for first team players. Top half division, uh, reach group stage. Already done that. Contract expires next season and then just maintain a Premier Division or Premier League top half finish. Damn, that is, uh, they're not very, they're not very, uh, what's the word, uh, optimistic, should I say, or 
yeah, as you just call it that. Season injury report, actually. This is nice. Will Ferry miss 35%? Um, Armstrong missed 22. Nathan Redman missed 21 with seven injuries. Seven different injuries. What do you mean? Squad ended season break. Yep. Uh, USA, go for it. Let's see. Yeah, that's just that. Premier Division Manager of the Year. And Gao Yin, sorry, Gao Yisheng. Please, that's Eagle Stream wins English Premier Division Manager of the Year. It's very nice. All right, well, uh, I'll be getting back to you the next time I decide on uh, either someone to sell or if I'm well, buying someone. See you there. Before we get into transfers, actually, I just wanted to point out that Leicester City, Wolverhampton Wanderers, and West Ham United were just relegated from the Premier League. Three teams that I consider to be strong favourites to, to stay up, especially uh, Leicester and Wolves. But yeah, let's get into some transfers, shall we? So... Uh, he's refusing to sign a new contract for AC Milan, although I do have a, uh, obviously a very good goalkeeper. I do kind of want, do kind of want, uh, Gianluigi Donnarumma, and, uh, he believes Southampton's stature in the game isn't big enough, even though we're in the Champions League, which is more than he can say at this moment in time. So, you can see Eliason doing fairly well. Natural fitness and stuff like that. Going up. It's going to be our future left back when, uh, when Ryan Bertrand leaves. Um, while we're here, actually, I wanted to uh, go over the team report. Go into the squat depth. Filter it like that. You see... We don't have any uh, center mids that are that are at least three stars, but obviously uh, Smallbone is a very good player and he can play there. Uh, you can see your Kyle Walker Peters can uh, play on the left as well. Not good enough for me because he's our uh, starting right back, and then we only have Livakovic in goal. So at this moment in time, I'm not sure. I'm not going for wingers. That's for that's for sure. We have enough of them, even though like, I, com like, I consistently complain about not having enough wingers because every one of them is injured, you know. Uh, that being said, I might focus on uh, center mid, even though I have a, a lot of players in two and a half stars. And I might focus on left back as well, even though I was talking about Lazen being... Uh, the future left back, Ryan Bertrand, actually never got injured last season, which is really lucky because he was our only left back at that point in time. And obviously, Ing is gun coming back. I might sell him. I'm selling Godinho. Might sell Vir Vir Virtanen, sorry. Get a new goalkeeper in. But thing thing is, uh, I can't really sell players because uh, the squad is already so thin. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a it's extremely thin, which uh, we had to get into the youth academy last season just to fill out the bench in a few games. But yeah, uh, let's uh, keep looking at some players, shall we? As you can see, we have now sold Raúl Godinho. Yeah, it's for a loss. He did sign for us for 400k. Didn't work out. So uh, he now leaves to Hoffenheim and hopefully he can uh, can get some game time over there to uh, further his development, I guess, as a 25-year-old goalkeeper. Yeah, it's uh, he's not had the best of times, shall we say. Not at all. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, so who we could be good? Smalling now. 
Uh, obviously, we do have a few players coming in, and while I say that, I see this. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm on approach to sign him because he could be a decent player for the future. Uh, yep, finalize, negotiate. What is wrong with this? I just do that. I'll accept that, you know. I will accept that, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Next season budget, 24 million. Depends on where we are at. Nah. Next season, to be honest. Let's see, if we go into inns, we obviously have Matthias Ginter coming in. Then we have uh, Olmedo, Cavic... Caviglia, sorry, Sergio Gomez, which I am really happy about getting, except the fact that he didn't get a, uh, what's it called, a work permit. So that's just amazing, isn't it? He would have probably been one of the starters at the club. Like, at least be in and around the uh, first team squad. Which is slightly annoying, but it's fine. But also, uh, Rafael Santos Bore is also coming in on the 1st of July. Pressing forward, a four-star pressing forward. Looks really, really good. 25 years old, probably going to be valued at 20 to 30 million after he joins. And he did get a work permit, so there's that. But we do still have 42 million and a 160k wage budget available. So, actually, while I'm here, may as well do this. Eduardo Camavinga, actually, yeah. Uh, Callum McGregor, nah, but I'll scout him. Wendell, I'll scout him. All right, so the first player that we just got an accepted offer for is Tiu Koop Myers from Asset Alkmaar. Now, he's a player that is really, really good. Like, look at this. Steve Blank Playmaker on defense. He's a four star player. And that is exactly what we need. And, and he can play on the left side of midfield, which is exactly what we need. So, I mean, just look at these stats as well. Like, honestly, doesn't get much better than that. And so he does, we have free kick taking, 13, doesn't matter, we have war routes for that. But hey, this, uh, this player is going to be big for us, so let's hope, let's hope that uh, he signs for us and not one of the other 16 very big clubs that want him, including Arsenal, Liverpool, and Manchester City. Alright, so... We've had a few offers coming in for some youngsters. Ross Lang, I want 10 million for him. And then Lyson, I want 16 million for him. But then I look over here and see that Liverpool are offering 18.25 million plus 4.5 million in installments, plus arranging a friendly, for Jan Betnarek. Now, he is extremely interested in speaking to Liverpool. So in that case, I'll ask for 25 million with. 5 million in installments. Okay, let me just do that. 25 million. 22 million plus 5.5 5 million. Uh, he is extremely interested in speaking to Liverpool. But, uh, I don't think I can accept this. I know he's going to have a grumpy on, stuff like that, but 30 million, that. Uh, yeah, this one, and this, this, offer the clubs. Sheffield United have made an offer for Jack Stevens. Okay, um, he's worth what, 7.5 million? Don't really want to lose him, to be honest, he's a very valuable, uh, he has no interest in joining them, so I can offer, I can ask for like 17.5, right here. 15 million maybe? Huh. Well, now I have to accept it. But it's double his value, so I guess it works. And then we have Danny Ings. He 
is not interested in speaking to Tottenham. So, oh, and he's worth 37 million. So this is going to have to be a lot higher, like, say, 80 million. Period. <laughs> I've also made an offer for Ali Ackman on a uh, free. Bit from us a niece. It's a very good young uh, Turkish striker. So I'll get back to you when everything goes through. Here we are with the first signing of the season. Marcus Edwards coming in for 13 million with uh, add-ons as well, I believe. Yep, 17.5 million right here. Uh, a big, big signing for uh, us this season, if I'm being honest. He, uh, as you can see, probably somewhere around here, here. He said, uh, hey, you're gonna have to offer me a better deal if I'm gonna sign for you because uh, Aston Villa put in a better offer. So I put in a better offer and now he's signed. He's already worth twenty one million pounds. He can play like across the uh, attack in midfield. He can play there as well. Although he's not good at it. But I am extremely happy with this. That's just Adam or sorry, let's do that. And real quick, let's see his free kick taking. Okay. Are there corners? Twelve, okay. We'll do that all later. Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely happy with that signing. And there's also a few players going out fairly soon. All right, uh, Kumbayas has been granted the work permit in England. So Tiun Kumbayas has joined Southampton. There he is. There he is. Already worth 34 million. He can play as a centre back, but I won't be uh, playing in there. I'll be playing him in there as a deep line playmaker on support. 100%, even though he is actually a DM, a defensive midfielder. But uh, it is what it is. Look at these stats. Like, honestly, he's going to be a massive, massive player for us this season. All right, so I did not expect this. He just said that we didn't have the the uh, like reputation to sign him, but here we are. And honestly, <laughs> um, if we're getting him for free, even if he's only here for a year, I'll accept that. Two hundred k. Nah, 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 nah. nah. You're not getting that much, friend. No. Most you're getting is this. That is the most you're going to be getting here. Also, it's really annoying. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just remove that. Oh my. So uh, we're signing Gianluigi Donnarumma. Just as I accept two offers, or not accept them, just as two players leave the club with uh, Oriol Romeo leaving for Valencia, and then Angus Gunn leaving for Watford, Donnarumma has been granted the work permit and is joining us on a free tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Sergio Gomez coming in on a free, obviously, and I'm straight off the bat just going to offer him out on loan where he needs to be an important player, period. Matias Ginter is coming in because, uh, obviously, because he's just a good center back and uh, uh, sad news, Benarek will most likely be leaving for Milan for 30 million pounds, sadly. And again, we have uh, Gianluigi Donnarumma coming in on 160k a week. And we have uh, Rafael Santos Bore coming in on a free as well, already worth 29 million, almost 30 million. 
Uh, Ali Achman coming in on a free as well. Has very big potential ability, if I'm being honest with you. And I'm going to offer him out on loan because we have so many, so many good, uh, so many good uh, strikers at the club, sorry. And we have Caviglia coming in on a free as well. Already worth 4.8 million. He could be a massive, he could play a massive part in our future. Uh, let's see, uh, regular starter. He obviously doesn't have a work permit, neither does Mario Gela. He has big potential ability as well. And I want to throw him out on loan as well as a regular starter, at least. There we go. Uh, at the training, yep, all of them. And then, oh, that's a lot. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that uh, off camera. So, uh, more deals in the works. And I'll see you then. I regret to inform you that uh, Betnarek is leaving the club for 30 million pounds, which is realistically going to be fixing that. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a there's a clause I forgot in Eduard's contract that uh, let's see, let's just go into contracts. Yeah, he's now on 160k a week as well. <laughs> uh, I've set his asking price at 70 million, so if anyone does want to pick him up, then I will be open to selling him. Because uh, I, I just don't think he's a 160k a week kind of player. I really don't. Let's offer him out for 70 million. And if he's unhappy with that, then, uh, then uh, it is what it is. I also regret to inform you that uh, Jackie Boy Stevens has uh, signed for Sheffield United for 14.5 million, potentially going up to 18.75 million. We're getting a bunch of money in because there's there's a few players that I do want to sign. Actually, there's a few players that I want to sign into the team. If you know what I mean. So, again, I will be back when that happens. Okay, so I, I just felt like I had to actually go out there and uh, show you guys this. But uh, Fraser Foster has just been placed on the transfer list at Real Madrid for 10.75 million. If we go over here into career stats, he went for 9 million. He's been playing for the B team. He's not even been playing for the B team. He's played two games in the first division, and that's it. I just have to show you this. But yeah, I'm still working on a lot of, uh, or not a lot. I'm working on a few deals, and uh, you will see them in the, yeah, in the, in the uh, coming minutes. Oh my word, there it is. There it is. I'll do this in a bit. There it is. Di Maria joining Southampton for free for 90k a week. That is nothing. I was like, when I asked for the agent availability, he said, "Oh yeah, he's he's gonna want like 190 thousand pounds a week." And I'm just sitting there like, huh. I'm gonna try this anyway. If he asks for that, then I'm just not gonna accept it. I go in there and he asks for a hundred K a week. And I'm like, huh, yeah, that doesn't make sense, but okay, I'll offer him 90 K a week. And he goes like, yeah, sure. I'll take 90 K a week. And now he's here. <laughs> Honestly, he might be a massive, massive signing for us. He's still very good at a lot of the things over here. He is 33, agreed, or not agreed. Yes, he is 33 years of age, but with the amount of young players in the squad and the amount of young wingers in the squad, he is going to be an extremely good mentor for them. And I cannot wait for him 
to be scoring in the Premier League again. Before doing anything else in the transfer window, we are getting closer and closer to the uh, well, the opening day of the Premier League season. Looking at this, we are expected to finish 7th. We're expected to be the best of the rest. With obviously our key player being Angel Di Maria. If we, uh, if we, uh... Crap. What did I do? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There you go. <laughs> uh, the Dream Eleven is Allison, like Robertson, uh, Laporte, Van Dijk, Alexander Arnold. Yeah, makes sense. Rashford, De Bruyne, Fernandez, Serling, Mane, and Kane. Yeah, makes sense. Makes makes a lot of sense. Let's see who are. Okay, they picked Donnarumma and Livakovic as our two main, uh, two of the most important players. Two goalkeepers. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, we're expected to be finishing 7th. Obviously, I'll go over all the transfers later in the episode. So, that's about it. Last season, 3rd, 79 points. Honestly, I'm happy with... I'm happy if we get 7, honestly. But yeah, that being said, let's get into even more transfers. And there we go. There we have it, the final signing that I have decided to make before the start of the season Vitaly Mikolenko coming in from uh, Dynamo Kiev for 10 million pounds with potential to go up to 20 million pounds and honestly this here signing is going to be the long-term left-back replacement for Ryan Bertrand just look at him real quick over here. Look at this. Already worth 24 million. I made a lot of good signings this uh, this summer. However, the uh, he can't actually be uh, registered into the team until January, which is uh, just kind of sad. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Huh. Apparently he can be registered into the squad before then. Oh well. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go into transfer history this season. Yes. If you go into the date and date over here as well. We go over this. Eng is gone left for uh, Watford for 3.5 million. Goudinho left for Hoffenheim for 300k. Romeu left for Valencia for 3.5k. Jan Bettnerek left for Milan. AC Milan, sorry, for 30 million. Babic on loan. Gila on loan to Hamburger just to get the, uh, the work permit. Jack Stevens for 14.5 million with potential of going up to 18.75 million to Sheffield United. Alex Rico gone on loan to Young Boys for the uh, work permit. Yes, or uh, Yannick Vestigard to Levante for 3.9 million. Fed Eliasson to Exeter on loan. Fedel Ross Lang to Everton for 11 million. Honestly, he's a young player. He's a young player, but uh, he could have uh, only been a three star potential here for us, so he had to go. 11 million for him is very good. Uh, Jankovic on loan to Hertha Berlin for the second season in a row. Colin Slattery to Cardiff for 1.3 million. Valerie to Rapid Vienna and also to Pro Sesto on loan. Going into the uh, starting, or not starting 11, the uh, players coming in. Matthias Ginter from Borussia Mönchengladbach coming in for free, already worth 27.5 million. Just saying. Then we have, oh my word, you're annoying. I am so sorry. Rafael Santos Bore to, from River Plate. For free as well, already worth almost 30 million. Sergio Gomez in from Borussia Dortmund. Hopefully he gets a loan very, very soon because he doesn't have a work permit. Caviglia from uh, obviously Juventus. Hopefully, obviously he gets a loan as well because he doesn't have a work permit. Uh, Mario Gila from Real Madrid B for free. He's obviously gotten uh, the loan to Hamburger SV over here. 
to get his work permit. Ali Ahmad from Bursaspor, he already has his work permit for some reason. I don't know how, but he does. So he's going to be in the mix this season. And we have obviously the uh, one of the signings of the season, Gianluigi Donnarumma from AC Milan for free. He's already worth 42.5 million. Then we have Angel Di Maria coming in for free from uh, PSG. Uh, Lucas Nemecha is one that you didn't see, but I decided like, ah, oh, you know, he's a he's a striker, and we might have to use him this season if it comes down to it. But only if it, he's, he's only going to be a player that I use in dire situations. And then obviously Vitaly Mikolenko for 10 million with uh, potential uh, installments or installments? No, not installments. Potential add ons of uh, 10 million, which puts that up to 20 million. However, he will probably not be playing until uh, Ryan Bertrand leaves or starts playing badly. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you are new, please do hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell if you uh, if you don't want to miss any uh, videos that I do post, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Please hit that like button down below if you uh, have enjoyed this as well. It really does help out a lot. So uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, transfer special, a very, very big one. And I will see you guys on Monday. Peace out.